We are back with some more Packers franchise, and we are in our last season, in the last bye week of our last season here for this uh, Madden 20 cycle. And it's probably going to be a really, really short bye week video compared to the normal ones. I'm just going to breeze through some things, especially because we're so early on in the season. There's really not much to talk about. Um, but the Bears, first place in the division at 3 0. We're 2 1. Lions and Vikings both 1 and 2. Um, we'll just take a look at the NFL standings division by division. The AFC North leader right now is the Browns, uh, currently at 3-0. The Steelers 2-1, Ravens 2-1, and the Bengals 0-3. AFC South, the Titans lead at 2-1, the Colts at 2-1 as well. Um, Texans at 1-2, Jags 0-3. That's who we're play, take, taking on next week. I actually know the Jags user in real life, so I'm going to be sweating super hard trying to beat that man. Um, AFC East, still anyone's, you know, obviously it's anyone's still at this point in the season, but three teams at 2-1, the Patriots at 1-2, AFC West, three teams at 2-1, the Chiefs at 0-3, moving to the NFC, NFC North, obviously our division, Bears leading that, NFC South, the Falcons are tied with the Saints, but they're ahead of them, Panthers 1-2, Bucks 0-3, the NFC East, Redskins 3-0, Eagles 2-1, Cowboys 1-2, and oh, you hate to see that, dude, the Giants 0-3, and, and the last division, NFC West, um, 49ers are leading that 2-1, and one. Seahawks 2-1, and one, and the Rams 1-2, and two, and the Cardinals 0-3. Oh um, there's been a couple teams, there's probably been like 4 or 5 people switching around, switching teams and stuff, so um, it's going to be a little bit different. Like the last season, the Chiefs user is now the Seahawks user this season. Um, the Vikings user that we just played week 1, he's a different team, I think he's the Cowboys now. Um, so there's just different everyone's switching and stuff trying to get their favorite team people are switching especially getting ready for the next Madden so um, It's a little reason why the Chiefs are bad this year the Chiefs were good last year I don't know who the Chiefs user is this year. I, I think it's uh, it's a new person. I'm pretty sure um, Oh, yeah, no, I know the Chiefs user is yeah, definitely is a new person. He's from the UK, so um, It's just a lot of switching around. That's why the divisions and stuff might be a little bit different this season um, well, I guess we'll take a look at our schedule. We'll show you guys who we got the rest of the way here. Obviously, we're taking on the Jags, who haven't lost or haven't won a game this season. So, hopefully, I can come out and p destroy him. Um, also, because I know him in real life, so I'm trying to wrap the score on this man big time. Uh, then we got the Texans. Tough game against the Bears, the Colts, and then the Bears again. So, we got Bears back to back. Two big games there in week seven and nine. Got to make sure we win those. Um, Lions, Panthers, the Falcons, the Vikings, the Bucks. Um, solely interesting. I don't think that's the same solely that's the Lions and the other one. The Titans, Saints, and the 49ers ended the season there. So, got some tough games here and there. Um, go ahead and take a look at the weekly awards. We did get one last week. Jordan Love, week three, got um, the weekly award there for 22 for 33, 443 passing yards, six touchdowns, one pick, five sacks, and the three carries for eight rushing yards. Just just dominated that game against Detroit. Just, just was throwing touchdowns left and right. Um, we got Deshaun Jackson talking about the bye week. What do you think he wants to do? Obviously, we're going to calm it down because we got the dub. No reason for extra preparation. We'll reward everyone in the bye week. Let them take a breather. Plus two injury for their entire team and plus one morale. You love to see it. Um, and that's, I feel like that's like all I can show you. I mean, I guess I could show you stats go, going on in the season right now. Um, we're ninth in offensive yards. We are fifth in defensive yards. Our defense has been playing really, really well, especially with the addition of Casey. We're fourth in points scored. I think points allowed. We're top five as well. Um, oh, never mind. We're 12th. I lied. Definitely lied on that one. Um, but I guess we'll show you guys who leads our team in stats right now. Jordan Love so far through three games. 67 for 100. 13 touchdowns. Six picks. 1,098 yards. Not bad you know definitely could work on the picks a little bit through three games i'm throwing two picks a game so definitely can work on that just a little bit rushing aaron jones struggling man three games he's only got 157 yards on 38 attempts um he's averaging four carry but just really not getting getting things going he has no rushing touchdowns yet dexter also no rushing touchdowns for him jordan love no rushing touchdowns have i not had a single rushing touchdown I guess I haven't. I could have sworn I did, but I guess I guess I don't. Um, our receiving leader right now is MVS, really, probably because the last game he popped off. 17 for 383 and 5 with Deshaun Jackson, 17 for 229 and 3, followed closely by Devonta Adams at 212 for 2. And then Josiah with 12, 173, and 1. So the top four that I expected to be up there all contributing and even Jay Sternberg last game getting two big touchdown catches so he's even getting in the mix which is uh, brilliant you love to see that sacks allowed 
our center he's struggling I'm actually focused training him trying to make him a little bit better right guard right tackle of course our left side is kind of locked down that I don't really need to worry about them that much come on Martin being the beast he is leads our team in tackles with 28 tackles for loss leader is also come on with four our sacks leader is Kenny Clark and Preston oh they're all tied okay as I say three-way tie for five right now and look at Dean Lowry four it's like Eric Armstead that we didn't even need him apparently Dean Lowry could get the job done um, kicking haven't missed a field goal yet with Mr. Catanzaro that's what you like to see right there um, moving on to I guess we'll just look at the leaders of this stuff I mean it's hard to look at stats only a couple games in you know leading in the NFL receiving yards is really Sam Darnold interesting leading in touchdown passes of course the goat Jordan Love and most picks Jalen Hurts with 13 two for th oh my god dude <laughs> oh I cannot wait till next week I'm a feast two passing touchdowns for that is not the ratio you want to see right there for your starting quarterback holy shit Russian leader right now is Nick Chubb with 366 most rushing touchdowns, Darius Geis with six. The Redskins coming in hot this season. Look at them go. Dominating. Absolutely dominating. Receiving leader is Stefan Diggs. Twelve he only has twelve catches, but about 483 yards. Interesting. Dude's just hucking Hill Marys, I guess. Six touchdowns. The Bills doing some absolute work. MBS was third on that, surprisingly. Most sacks is the left tackle for the Jets with eight. Um, everyone's left tackle. I mean, look at the Jags. Jags got two left tackles on here. That's what you want to see, man. I'm trying to. I'm coming for the Jags next week. I'm coming for them. Tackle leader Quan Alexander with 37. Um, tackles for loss is Chandler Jones with 10. Current sack leader is Melvin Ingram with seven. We have three guys at five, so that's that's nice to see. We have three people probably in what top 10. Um, interception leader is Patrick Queen. Shaquille Griffin's up here as well. I don't think we have any Packers up here. I don't believe so. Kind of just been spread out on turnovers and stuff. Yeah, Adrian's got two. Okay. Um, I guess we can look at kicking. Best kick. Justin Tucker's banged 10 field goals already. Just 100%. Justin Tucker's an absolute legend. There's already been a punt return for a touch or a kick return for a touchdown. Cordero Patterson on punts. No surprise there. Uh, and that's pretty much all I can show you. I mean, we're so early on in the season. There's not much to really talk about. I mean, I can show you my my team, I guess, but they haven't really went up in overall too much because we just started. But um, here's the squad. Obviously, you guys probably already knew this, but this is the squad we we're we rocking with with our final season. Um, and that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.